Well, today is the first day of Florida's Phase 2, meaning entertainment venues like movie theaters and bars are now allowed to open back up with restrictions. ABC 27 Chantel Navarro tells us what you can expect on your next trip out. To start off, not all your favorite bars are going to be opening up just yet. Some say they're just not prepared yet. Others, like Bullwinkle Saloon, say they could not be more ready to let customers back in. It was, whoa, thank you, finally. Stephen Bailey says he could not be more excited to reopen Bullwinkle Saloon after three long months without making money. We were on the verge of buying a restaurant license and becoming a restaurant to be open, to do some kind of business. Now the place known for live music and its Thirsty Moose Club will be taking things slowly. Sanitizer will be stationed around the area and employees will be wearing masks. Bailey says he wants to be patient for his customers and let them know there's plenty of room for social distancing since the bar has outdoor and indoor seating areas. Ten people here, ten people there, six people here, four people there, and groups of people that come in together and know each other can sort of have their own little area. Everybody who comes in also needs to stay seated to get served and follow social distancing rules. Across town, Clyde's and Costello's owner Dave Eriks has one word for these rules. Hypocritical. Eriks says the new rules are part of the reason they're holding off on reopening until Monday at the earliest. Is it fair to say to us that you've let restaurants open up at 100% and they can sit at, sit at the bar. And you're telling us we can open up at 50%, but nobody can sit at the bar. Matter of fact, you can't serve anybody who's not sitting at a table. Eric says another reason is supply. Distributors couldn't bring shipments back in fast enough for Friday. Eric says now he's waiting and worries what the coronavirus pandemic tied together with the new rules will do to the future of Tallahassee. I'm trying to figure it out, but at the same time, uh, yes, we're, we're happy to get open, but I think 30% of the bars will never reopen again. Another worry both bars have is how they're going to stay open now. Eric says that a lot of places around here end up taking out loans to survive the summertime without lawmakers and students around. Now they're both starting off in the red. In Tallahassee, Chantal Navarro, ABC 27.